Hey y'all, it's Malia Moon and I'm back with another video. Today, as y'all see, I have a setup for um, my press on nails or whatever. So I'll just tell y'all everything that I use to do my press on nails at home is super easy. Um, but yeah, so let me go ahead and just start with this. This is the kit. By the way, all of this stuff is on my Amazon store, which is always gonna be linked in my um, description box. So this is the gel kit that I have love all of the colors so this is that and like I said all this stuff is definitely linked below so anything that you need you'll find it on my Amazon storefront and they'll all be under nail essentials so um the next thing I have is this little stand usually um well when I first started doing my nails at home I would like do it on my hand but having one of these stands is just so much easier like it's just so much easier because you can do um uh, well i have two of them but right for the purpose of this video i'm only do one hand um just to show y'all how to do it but um it's so much easier than actually doing it on your hand that way you can just like kind of put the nail um this like in the actual light and just kind of you know let it do what it do you don't have to put your hand in there you can go ahead and you know cook clean do whatever you're doing while your nails are curing or whatever um emery boards these are also on my storefront so you'll definitely need some emery boards mine have been used obviously because i do my press ones often um and then of course you'll need some glue and i like to get the super glue and then I have um, top coat, base coat. This is just what, this was the first ones that I bought and this is what I found has worked for me. I love it, it's awesome. Um, I'm gonna show y'all how to do my, the ones that I have on right now have the gold flakes and my little gold dollar signs, but doing this set, I actually ran out of the dollar signs. So I'm going to just show y'all how to do it with the gold flakes. And I have those here. And then of course I have all of, and these are full nail tips. These aren't like when you go and get your acrylic done, these aren't um, like the half ones. This, this covers the full nail. So these are full tips. There's no acrylic needed. You don't have to use acrylic or anything. Um, I do have a cutter as well. I have a cutter as well as a drill. But um, the cutter is just going to be for if you want your um, nails to be like any shorter. You know what I mean? But I really enjoy having um, the full tip because I like long nails. But I do use this cutter because sometimes I just want to cut them short. So yeah, let's get started y'all. So I have these little sticky things on my, like they're called, um, I don't even know the technical name for it honestly, but they're like little tabs that you're able to stick. You can put your press-ons on with them or you can just, I use them because I like to use the glue honestly. I don't like to, you know, use the little tabs unless I'm really just ha putting the tabs on to take a picture or something like that and I want to preserve my press-ons. But this is what they look like. So you can't even see. So this is what they look like. And they're like just little tabs that you peel off and place on here so that way your press on sticks. I've already done that. So I already have like the little tabs on here so that my press on stick when I put them on the actual stand. Um, so one important thing is finding your numbers. They're, all of these are numbered. The higher the number, the bigger the nail. So like the zeros are huge as you can see. And these are usually used for thumbnails. And then um, the ones, well, I'll just use, yeah, the ones are, um, you know, the next step. Those are usually used for thumbs as well. I use the twos for my thumbs, but the tens, like the higher you get in number, the smaller they get. So as y'all can see, the tens are like more for like pinkies. And then um, as far as like these fingers here, like the ones like, you know, your pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, I usually use like six or seven. It just depends on what I got or whatever. So I already know my numbers. 
but it's super easy like when you take them out the pack this is what they're gonna look like it's gonna be the full tip so you're gonna get the full tip so you'll have the full tip there it's gonna cover the full nail and then you just literally put it on your finger so that you can measure um, you know how big your nail bed bed is or how small your nail bed is um, yeah I, I feel like that part is super self-explanatory <laughs> uh, so yeah there's that so I know my size is for like my I usually use the same size for like my index fingers for real. so I know mine are sixes so I'm just gonna take three sixes out Sometimes it just depends. Like sometimes I'll use a seven for my um, pointer finger, but it really just depends on what I have available at the time. <laughs> but um, yeah, so we'll just go ahead and take out a seven and use that. pinky nail so I already know what size my pinky nail is so let me just go ahead and take out is it 10 or 11 yeah 10 looks about right take out that so right now as y'all can see I'm literally just putting these all on my little stand so here's my stand so I'm just putting those on there so that way um you know, I just got them together, looking uniform. And then my thumbnail, um, my right is a two, my left is a three. Um, Cause sometimes, you know, thumbs be different sizes or whatever. So there's that. So once you get all your sizes together, just put them up there on your stand and then you are ready to go. So let me go ahead and just move all of this out the way because I love to have a clean little workspace. gonna do after well actually since I do have a little bit of grease on my nails because I you know obviously didn't want my hands to be ashy um <laughs> I'm just gonna grab a napkin and some alcohol so I'm rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to clean off the nails so that we know that we have a clean little base and that no oil or anything gets up here because oil could, um, you know, mess with the gel polish and then it won't cure correctly. And the light, like, it'll still be kind of wet and you don't want that. That's like the worst because it's like not only a waste of time, but a waste of product and ultimately a waste of money. So this ain't debt. <laughs> so yeah so just go ahead and clean that off so all of my tips are clean just wipe them down with alcohol so that's what they look like the same <laughs> just free of um you know what i mean just free of uh any oil or whatever that it might have on it and let me wipe this one again all right so should be good after this and these are magnetic so i don't know if y'all realize but those are magnetic so they're gonna just stick or whatever to the stand sorry i got some hair or something in here can't have that i just gonna mess up all right um all right so, oops. all right, bet. 
so there's that all right and then what you want to do is just take i like to just make sure they're all straight you know what i mean just make sure they got a good little symmetry going and then you want to take your base gel this is the first gel that you're going to put on this is the base gel so you take this one here and then you want to and i i don't like having my gels beside my light even though they're like in a bottle, I just kind of like move them away. That way the light doesn't interfere with what, you know. All right, and then you just want to brush that. And I usually do like a thin layer. You do not need it to be super thick. You don't need to go overboard. You don't need a lot of product. You just want to get a good base. On, oops. And that will happen too. <laughs> I mean, that usually doesn't happen when I'm not recording, but since I'm recording right now, to hold it at like a different angle but like i was saying you don't need a lot you just need to you know put your little layer up there and make sure you got it good or whatever perfect and then yeah so after you do that i just like to go back and like kind of just make sure everything is even and that there's no like excess gel oh, shit. <laughs> and that there's no like excess gel it helps to hold the base now that i'm seeing now i'm trying to do it from this angle it does help to hold the base when you're um going through and doing it so they won't fall but yeah y'all so that's pretty much it so after you get the base on there you want to take the whole thing and just place it right in the light just push it in there place it in the light and cure it turn it on so between every single time that you're doing uh you know like a different what's the name you want to cure it you want to make sure you're curing um your set every single time and i usually just put this on 60 um so that you know I just make sure and sometimes I even like just push it like once it's done I push it again because <laughs> I just want to make sure it's cured and that it's not gonna you know what I mean you want to make sure they they're coming out clean and cute and yeah I just have some tweezers by kiss and some simple little tweezers and yeah all right, so that's almost done, Karen. I'm gonna just show y'all like the same color that I have on or whatever. Cause yeah, or should I do blue? I don't know, I just really like this green. This green is giving me like everything that I need. All right, so after it's done curing, I usually just lift it up, just make it easier, you know what I mean? Feel it a little bit. All right, so. That's done curing. So now you wanna take your color. I'm just gonna use the same green that I have on. And this is actually like a transparent jelly green and I absolutely love it. And this is, oh, I got it upside down. <laughs> this is the color or whatever. So there's that. And then let's take your color. So there's that. Oh 
I'm gonna have fun editing this shit. I already know. <laughs> I'm gonna have so much fun editing. I'll probably edit it tonight while me and my mom watch BMF. All right, so there's that. And then you wanna put it in your light. And just make sure it's not hitting on the sides or nothing. You know what I mean when you put it in your light? Just make sure, cause that's the worst. And then you wanna cure it. So before you put, you know, go to put these gold flakes on or whatever, you definitely wanna cure it. Um, and I'm gonna show y'all this next. So. These are the gold flakes. And yeah. That's what we're gonna be putting on there once we take it out this is what they will look like all right so now we just want to go in with a top coat we're going to do a very thin layer because this is not the final top coat because of course we have to put the gold flakes on there so let's just do a very thin layer of this top coat and i am going to put it on all of them it's not going to dry or anything because, you know, the light is what actually cures it. So right now I'm just putting the top coat on there, a very thin layer so that the gold flakes have something to stick to. And yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. So that's on there. We just did like a very thin layer of the top coat so that the gold flakes stick to that. So now we have our gold flakes here. And then remember when I told you, you're gonna need some tweezers. Take your tweezers and just pick up a little bit. You don't need a lot of the gold flakes. I do like to kind of break it up. So that way, you know, we got it broken up and we're not putting like huge chunks up there or whatever. Because, yeah, we don't need that. All right. And I'm just going to go ahead. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing, but I'm just, well, y'all should be able to see what I'm doing. Um, I'm just, like, breaking up the gold flakes. So just kind of take your tweezers and break them up so that way you don't have like big chunks but you got you know little flakes you don't want them to look too gaudy you know you want it to look nice and elegant and cool <laughs> but anyways so let me just go ahead and take one so i just went ahead and took one off well let me do a larger nail so that way we can see up close what I'm doing. So you wanna take gold flake. And just set it up there real nice, you know. Just put it up there nicely. And I like to spread them out. I don't like them to be all like close together or whatever. I like to spread them and just, you know, get them up there. Yep, and then just like continue putting them on there and you can like spread them out and make it do whatever it does. Like it's not gonna mess up the gel. You still have a whole top coat to go. Like, you know what I mean? Like nothing's gonna mess up. So you can spread them out, do whatever. But yep, that is a close up on how I do them. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and do the rest of them off camera and I will be right back. All right, y'all, and then after you put, you know, all your flakes or whatever on there, you're just going to put it back in the light. 
so that that can cure you're not going to do the top coat yet you just want you know everything to dry because you did just put gold flakes up there or whatever so just make sure everything is dry first wipe off my tweezers uh, but while that's curing let's just go ahead and get our top coat ready because this is going to be like a thicker coat i'm gonna let that cure twice um only because like you know i just want to make sure everything is in its place or whatever and then um with this top coat we're gonna make it like a little thicker only because like it's the top coat like it's really like finishing everything so um we're gonna put the top coat on and the top coat is going to be um a bit thicker because it's you know it's the end it's like finishing everything off you want to make sure all of your um you know everything stays in place and you just want to yeah finish it off perfectly so after that cures again i'm gonna go ahead and put another thick top coat on and cure it again i'll probably cure it for like a minute and a half honestly um just because i want to make sure everything is really nice and dry all right that should be good enough so <laughs> so let me take these out yeah they're dry so um here you have them like out without the top coat so now we're gonna go ahead and put the finishing top coat right on top of all of these and like i said you do want it to be a bit thicker only because um you know you want it to be a bit thicker because this is like finishing everything off. This is gonna ensure everything stays in place. So this is when you do the final top coat and just, you know, I'm not gonna say cake it on cause don't cake it on, but you know, get it on there good enough. <laughs> so where you feel everything gonna be, you know, nice and secure. All right. And that is that. Once it has the top coat on there and everything, you know, you feel like everything is good and secure. You just want to go ahead and put that back in your light to cure. And y'all, that is that. Like, it's really not a difficult process at all. I feel like anybody can make their own press-ons. Especially now, because when you be going in these stores, these press-ons be like... <laughs> $10 a box. And, you know, press-ons used to be a dollar for some good ones, you know. All right, y'all, so they are nice and cured and dry. And then, of course, after that, you know, y'all know what to do. You take them off your stand. So you just wanna peel it off. So then you have, you know, your nail. Peel them all off. And then you use your glue press them on and that is that y'all I really hope you all enjoyed this tutorial I had so much fun doing this for you all um, if you did enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Bye.